Welcome to our next video, Home Assistant on Proxmox. As well as having a download image for the Raspberry Pi, Home Assistant also has a number of download images for use by different hypervisors such as VirtualBox, KVM and VMware. Proxmox is based on KVM and the image format for this is QCOW2, so we'll download the latest image from the Home Assistant website at home-assistant.io slash installation slash Linux. A copy of the URL is in the description below. Depending on your internet speed, this may take a few minutes. For the purposes of this video, this process has been sped up. Once the image has been downloaded, we'll create a VM for Home Assistant. Right click on the node and click create VM. In the name field, type home-assistant. Make sure start at boot is ticked and click next. We don't want to use a disk image for this, so select do not use any media. Click next. We need to change the machine to Q35. The BIOS also needs to be changed to OMVF UEFI. For UEFI storage, select local-lvm. Click Next. The defaults on disk are fine. Click Next. Give the VM two cores. Then click Next. For memory, 2048MB should be fine. Click Next. Leave the network defaults as they are. Click Next. Make sure Start After Created is not selected. Click Finish. Once the VM has been created, we now need to transfer the disk image to Proxmox. First though, we need to extract the disk from its archive. Use 7-zip or another similar tool. If you're using 7-zip, Right click on the file and click show more options if using Windows 11. In the 7-zip submenu, click extract here. You'll now have the QCOW2 file. Use an SFTP program to transfer the image to the Proxmox node. I am using WinSCP, but the process should be similar. Enter the host details and credentials and click login. On the left side, browse to the location you saved the disk image to. Find the QCOW2 file and drag to the right side. This will transfer the file. It may take a short while. From the node, click on Shell. You'll be presented with a command prompt. In there, type the command shown on the screen, where 101 should be the VM ID and the file name should match the downloaded file. I've included this command in the description below. Press enter and wait for the successfully imported message. To tidy up, go back to WinSCP and delete the disk image from the right side and exit WinSCP. Select the Home Assistant VM. Click on Hardware and select the hard disk SCSI 0. Click the Detach button. Click Yes to confirm. Now select Unused Disk 1. Click Remove. Click Yes to confirm. Now double click on Unused Disk 0. 
This will prompt you to add this disk. Accept the defaults and click Add. Click Options. We need to change the boot order so that the VM will see the disks in the correct order. Double click on Boot Order. Tick the Enabled box for the SCSI Zero device and untick the Net Zero and IDE2 devices. Click to the left of the number 3 and drag this entry to the top. Click OK. The VM is now ready to start. Click on Start and then click on the console. You may have a shell prompt on the screen. This is because Secure Boot is enabled, but the feature is not fully enabled in Proxmox. To resolve this, type Exit at the shell prompt. This will take you to a menu. Using the arrow keys, move down to Device Manager and press Enter. Use the arrow keys to go down to Secure Boot Configuration. Press Enter. Press the down arrow once to select Attempt Secure Boot. Press the spacebar to deselect. Press F10 to save it, then ESC to exit. Press Y to save. Press ESC again to exit. From the main menu, press the arrow keys to select Reset and press Enter. The VM will now reset and boot. Once you are presented with an ASCII Home Assistant logo and URLs, you can continue the setup in a web browser. Go to homeassistant.local colon 8123. It is likely that you'll be presented with the following screen. This means that Home Assistant is still setting itself up. It should only take a few minutes. The process has been sped up here. Fill in your name, username, and enter your password twice. Click Create Account. Enter a home name or accept the default. Click Detect to find your home location. Change the time zone if necessary and the unit system and currency. Click Next. Select one or more of these boxes. Click Next. Click Finish. After a few seconds the Home Assistant Overview dashboard should show with some basic devices and the weather in your area. You've now installed Home Assistant on Proxmox. For a walkthrough, please refer to my other Home Assistant videos. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you click the notification bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload another video.